Hi, my name is Jeremy Martel, and today I'll be teaching you how to create a Mac OS X Lion boot disk. To complete this task, you'll need an external media source with at least 8 gigs of free available space, as the operating system will use just under 6 gigs of space. This external media source can either be a USB drive or an external hard drive. In this tutorial, we will be backing up the installer as well, so I would recommend at least 16 gigs of space to be safe. The first step to creating the boot drive is to download the Lion installer from the Mac App Store. To do this, open the Mac App Store, and in the search field in the top right hand corner type in Lion and press enter. From the search results, click on OS X Lion. When the App Store page for Lion loads, if you have already installed it on your computer, it will be grayed out as it is installed, preventing you from reinstalling the software. To re-download Lion, you will need to press and hold on the Option key and click on the Purchased button at the top of the window. It is important to keep holding down the Option key until the Purchase page loads as this will allow you to click on the Install button for OS X Lion. The App Store will then ask you to authenticate using your Apple ID by typing in your Apple ID and password. After you click the Sign In button, it will begin downloading the OS X Lion installer. The download should take about an hour and 50 minutes, but this will vary depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the download has been completed, it will open in the dock, and the Install Mac OS X Lion window will appear on the desktop. Now that you have the installer downloaded, you need to create the boot drive. The first step in creating the boot drive is locating the installer file on your hard drive. To do this, you will need to open a Finder window, and from the Finder window, click on Applications. In the Applications folder, you're looking for a file called Install Mac OS X Lion. Next, right-click on the file and select Show Package Contents, which will open a new Finder window containing a folder called Contents. From the Contents folder, select Shared Support and the file you are looking for is the install esd.dmg file. Now you will need to open the disk utility. This can be found in the Utilities folder in Applications or from Lion's Launchpad. Alternatively, the disk utility can be launched through a Spotlight search by typing disk and it should be the first search result in the list. Clicking that search result will launch the application. Once the disk utility is open, you need to click on the DMG file and drag it down to the disk utility's left sidebar. Now you need to connect a blank external hard drive like this, or a USB key with at least 16 gigs of space to your computer. For this tutorial, I'm using a 120 gigabyte Western Digital USB 2 hard drive. Once it loads itself to my desktop, I'll drag the drive icon to the top of the screen so you can see it. From the disk utility, select the root drive, not the partition that is listed below, and then select the partition tab. Under partition layout, select two partitions from the drop down menu, which will format both partitions and erase everything on the drive. Click on the first partition and rename it. I'll rename mine WD120GIG. Then click on the second partition and name it OS X Install. I'm going to set the size to 10 gigs just to be safe, even though 8 gigs is all that is required. Once you have defined your partitions, highlight the 10 gig partition, click on the Options button, and ensure GUID Partition Table is selected. This ensures the computer can boot from that drive. Click on the OK button and then the Apply button to apply the changes. The disk utility will confirm that you want to create the partitions and format the drive. Click on the Partition button to start the process. It shouldn't take very long to partition the drives, and once they are complete, they'll mount to your desktop. Now that you have partitioned your drive, you will want to use the first partition to back up the Mac OS X installer on your computer. The reason for this is once you have used it, it will remove itself from your system and you would have to download it again. 
To do this, open the first partition in the Finder, open another Finder window, and select Applications. Scroll down to Install Mac OS X Lion and drag it down to the Partitions Finder window. Once the copy is complete, you will be able to recreate this boot drive at any time. The final step in creating a bootable copy of Lion is to install the DMG file on the second partition that we created. From the disk utility, select the DMG file in the left side panel. Under the Restore tab, ensure the DMG file is listed in the source field. If it's not, drag it into that field. Now from the left side panel, click and drag the second partition into the destination field. Click the Restore button to install the DMG file to the partition drive. The Disk Utility application will warn you that it will erase the second partition without affecting the other partition on the drive. Click the Erase button to initialize the install. You will need to authenticate the install with your system password and then the install will begin. The install should take about 4 or 5 minutes and the drive will unmount from the desktop while the install is being performed. Once the install is finished, the drive partition will remount itself to your desktop and you will have a bootable copy of Mac OS X Lion. That concludes our video, so thank you for watching and feel free to post any questions or comments below as I would be happy to answer them.